Welcome back to Trends and Friends. A flavorful Easter dinner meal is coming right up with Megan Weed from Beef Love and Texans. She's got a wonderful Chipotle post pot roast <laughs> pot roast recipe that you're gonna love. Take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Megan Weed and I'm here showing you today a smoky Chipotle pot roast um, with Beef Love and Texans. So what's great about this dish is it comes just in time for Easter if you're looking for that main course. And I like it because it's only four ingredients. Um, it's so easy to braise on the weekends or even just throw into the slow cooker on a weekday morning. And then you have a meal ready um, by the end of the day. So for this dish, you are going to need one um, beef shoulder roast or just an arm chuck roast that's anywhere from about two to uh, four pounds. So this is one that I picked up from the grocery store and we're going to use a teaspoon and a half of the chipotle pepper and you can do it on all sides. And depending on if you have any kids, you can add more pepper if you like to bring a little more heat to the dish, or you can use less. I'm going to go ahead and use the full amount, which is the teaspoon and a half. And you can get the full list of ingredients at beefloveandtexans.com, or you can also see the link that's attached to this recipe. So we're going to add now some vegetable oil to a Dutch oven pan and put this to the side, move things around. And we're gonna bring this to heat and we're gonna cook it and brown it on all sides. And then you're going to want to discard um, any of the extra juice. And once it's browned on all sides, you're gonna add a 14 um, and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies you're gonna pour it over the top of the roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Put this to the side. And if you want more liquid, you can add um, another can of tomatoes or you can even add some um, beef broth to the dish. And to finish cooking this, you are going to um, simmer this for about two to three hours or until it's about fork tender. Um, and then you're going to remove the roast and you're just gonna have um, the extra sauce that's been cooking in it. And you're going to strain all of the extra fat, bring it to a boil, and you're gonna want to reserve that sauce to pour it over the completed um, pot roast. So I'm gonna show you a picture of the completed dish. And just you can get the full recipe 